All right, so today let's go ahead and talk about a brand new screen protector that just hit the market from the folks over there at Phone Rebel. So here it is that you know about the Phone Rebel on this channel, all right? You already know about the Gen 3 cases. Here's going to be that red Gen 3 for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And if you want to get us something more a little simple, here you go with that black Gen 3. We already know about these cases, some of the best cases that is currently on the market and they decided, you know what, we're going to go ahead and jump in and um, make our own screen protectors to go alongside with the phone Rebel cases. So it says glass at last. Nice little packaging right here. It says 2D, 2.5D, <laughs> 2.5D clear gas for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Nothing else in here when it comes to the packaging. Now, in my opinion, this is probably one of the best value screen protectors out there in the market. Because guess what? This comes with three screen protectors in there. They're full coverage. And apparently they have all of the installation stuff that you can think of all inside of it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look. I've never installed these. I've never even seen these. We are gonna be getting the first look right alongside with you. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the packaging. So as you see, it says Phone Rebel. So let's take out the three installation kit so yes there are three screen protectors in that packaging there it is installation frame because every case screen protector out there not a case every screen protector out there needs to have an installation frame this shouldn't be too hard to put in your packaging all right so it's a good job that they have it right here and taking it out spread that thing like a little bit of money <laughs> you see that they have three screen protectors all right and these like i said are going for $14.99, which I feel like is a tremendous value. So let's go ahead and put two off to the side. Let's go ahead and put two cleaning kits off to the side. And let's just go ahead and leave all of this right here. Let's go ahead and grab our iPhone 13 Pro Max. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn this off real quick. We're going to go ahead and remove the screen protector, which I had a perfectly installed screen protector up here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that real fast. And the best time to install a screen protector is when you remove a screen protector. But since this is gonna be a new install, let's actually go ahead and step through this one step at a time so you know the necessary steps to install your screen protector, all right? So let's go ahead and take, a, take it out and let's go ahead and take a look at the screen protector itself. And yes, as you can see, it is gonna be a full coverage screen protector with just that little bit right here. And it says, remove me, please peel off this mask before application. So just like to know what's going on with the screen protector before I actually start to handle it. All right. So let's go ahead and put that screen protector off to the side and let's go ahead and grab the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I like to install mine at a little slight angle and let's just go ahead and see what's in the actual uh, contents. It says a screen white towelette cleaning uh, chamois cloth and a dust remover, which is probably a sticker. All right. So let's see the size of it and let's see what we have going on. So very small cloth right here, which I can get with wet wipe. And we have a pretty nice size sticker right here for dust removal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, for including a nice size sticker and not those very small mini ones. They actually drive me absolutely crazy. So first things first, let's go ahead and get into the wet wipe. And I like how he has everything labeled. He wants to know that this is their screen protectors. All right. So let's go ahead and take very small little wet wipe, all right? And let's just go ahead and wipe the phone down. And this should be fairly clean because we did just take a screen protector off. So let's just go ahead and give it a quick wipe back and forth real fast. We don't need to do anything too dramatic because like I said, we just took a screen protector off, all right? Let's go ahead and set that to the side. Let's go ahead and take our dry little cloth now and let's just go ahead and wipe it off, dry the screen, make sure you get all of that wet, moist, where did that come from? Make sure you get all that moisture out from the wet wipe, man. I know some of you going to have a lot of fun with that in the conversation, man. I know how y'all get down. So after that's done, what I like to do is kind of just bring it up close to my face. And I'll probably take this a little bit off camera just to see if there is any lint or any dust that you can see actually on the screen. And to be honest with you, I'm not really seeing much dust going on because like I said, it kind of was a perfect time to take the screen off so let's go ahead and take a look at our installation frame right here now i'm not seeing anything that's rated top or bottom so what we're going to do is just we're going to set it on right here and it snaps on we didn't need to use these because i felt like i didn't really see much dust so i'm not really going to be worried too much about that all right so let's go ahead and take our screen protector right here and what i always say is Peel this away from on top of the actual phone and also peel 
and keep the screen protector down so you don't get any debris when you are talking about it on your screen protector. So we're gonna set it down right here in the frame. So you kind of go ahead and apply a little bit of pressure right here. Let me actually turn it around to kind of get my better side at installing it. So let's go ahead and pop this down and let's just go ahead and guide its way down, guide its way down, it is in that frame. So we should be good, so let it do its thing. And once you kind of put it down, sometimes you have to kind of remove it from the bottom so it can finish adhering the entire way, all right? So as you see, it's gonna adhere just fine. Everything is going just perfect, and I'm just guiding it all the way up to the top, and Boom, there it is. Absolutely perfect installation with this foam Rebel Glass on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So let's wipe it off real quick and let's give it a quick look. Absolutely perfect. It is cut just slightly around the edges, so it should be case friendly when it comes to that. Nice curved edges, so it's not gonna affect any swiping that you may do if you are a person who does not run a case and you like to just raw swipe very nice curved edges and you can see it is full coverage all the way up to that very top now i can kind of rub it a little bit up here to kind of get those remaining little bubbles out but you can just rub it rub it and they come right out without any issue so perfect perfect installation when it comes to this case now let me go ahead and grab the gen 3 case and let's just pop it up here to see if it has any kind of bowing or anything going on with like that, which I'm pretty sure it wouldn't because this case is actually probably made for this screen protector. And as you can see, it does work just fine. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this will work with any case that you got for the iPhone 13 Max, whether it's their case or any other case. A lot of these screen protectors are cut just fine for most cases out there on the market, all right? So let's go ahead and move some of this stuff real quick off to the side. And then we're basically gonna just kind of go through it to make sure there isn't any issues when you're talking about touch sensitivity or anything like that. And then when you're touching it, everything works just fine. Of course, I have airplane mode on for the videos. Touch responsiveness feels just fine. There is no issues at all when it comes to the sensitivity, when it comes to touch, nothing. Everything feels just fine, just like there was no screen protector up there. And one thing I like to do is kind of bring a little multi-tool over here so we can do a little scratch, all right? Let's see if we can scratch it up a little bit. So no, I don't have any deeper grooves at level six, level seven. I don't do any of that. I just take a little screwdriver and we're just gonna just, let's just do a little quick scratch, all right? Can they say this is some of the strongest uh, screen protectors that's out there, man? So I'm not here to do an impact test or anything I like that. Everything I can prove, I'm not you, man. I don't got the, the revenue to be dropping phones and breaking them like that. I wish I did because I would have a lot of fun on this channel, but I don't really have it going on. So we're just doing a quick little couple scratches. You know, we're just kind of taking that and scratching it up. And, and just taking a look at it, I am not seeing any scratches on that at all. Perfectly clean screen protector as I let that kind of go over around it. No issues at all when it comes to this screen protector. So good job with this one, man. This is a very, very good job in my opinion when it comes to this screen protector. Everything seems cool, everything seems fine. Just like I stated to you before, this is gonna be a $14.99 and it gives you three screen protectors. Now the ones I get out there, usually all around that same price, gives you two. And then, you know, it, 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 I'm very surprised he came with $14.99 with three screen protectors in there. This is just amazing, amazing value. Also, when you buy their cases, he does include a tempered glass screen protector in there that I think used to be Flow Lab branded. Hopefully, with his new cases that's also to be delivered now, that they include his screen protectors because I feel like that'd be such a dope move. But if you have to go out there and buy them, I have a discount code down below. Now, I think the discount code works for all things on his site. Hopefully, it does. Um, but try it out, check it out. If it doesn't, then my bad. But if it does work, good for you. You saved a couple bucks on this screen protector. But $14.99, you really can't complain too much and it feels good. Very nice oleophobic coating. I mean, everything feels good with it. It's a screen protector, but I just wanted to show you guys what he was bringing to the table when it comes to his screen protectors. But I'm about to get up out of here, man. Make sure you do the YouTube things. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like, turn that bell on so you don't miss out on any future videos on the channel. But until next time, everyone, please be safe. Catch you on the next one. Later.